Tushar. I am here, one of the organizers of this uh, event and also uh, co-founder of Nards along with uh, Smita. So, I would like to start uh, by thanking everyone uh, who is present here, especially uh, photographers who are coming all the way from different parts of uh, India. And then I would like to thank all our honorable guests who are present here, who took their precious time out from their busy schedule and making this day memorable for all of us. I would like to brief you about Luna Arts and this exhibition, uh, Reminiscence. So, Luna Arts, me and my sister, we founded Luna Arts in the year 2019, end of year 2019. Uh, initially, like we started uh, Luna Arts as a uh, online art marketplace, which it still exists as a marketplace. And then later, gradually, uh, we started organizing uh, the events in Delhi, art exhibitions in Delhi. So here we are. So then, the major, uh, the main objective behind. Uh, Luna Art is to provide a fair platform to all the artists uh, in India, uh, all the artists who are emerging, growing, but extremely talented artists. So we provide that top platform to them. And then this exhibition, this is our sixth uh, exhibition, art exhibition in IFX uh, in last two years. And this exhibition, uh, Reminiscence, uh, there are 37 participating photographers uh, coming all across India and they are displaying their artworks here. And then why this name Reminiscence? So as this is our first photography exhibition, so what better name than Reminiscence? It means the imprint of the past, act of remembering the past. So. That's what, that's what photography is all about. I would like to introduce Dr. Sandeep Marwa. He is the founder and president of uh, Noida Film City and, uh, and Asian Academy of Film and Television. Good afternoon everyone. What a pleasure to be here this afternoon on this such a beautiful, well-designed, well-carved exhibition of photographs. My special thanks to all the organizers. I am recollecting two lines. Ke sabhi dishaun se shum sundar bhav vichar bhare nit antar punne dhara ban jaye swag ye mere yatno se karna kar. Whether it is north, south, east or west, whether you are in India or abroad, whether you are on the top of the hill or you are standing at a seashore, whether you are in a lush green garden and looking at some colorful flowers or maybe looking at the most beautiful woman on earth, the fact is there are two things which are much more beautiful than what you can see with your naked eyes. And these two things are your thinking and your feelings. And the best part is that both the things are right within you. You don't even need eyes for that. On this very auspicious day, let's pray. Hey Lord, give me good thinking, give me good feelings so that I can do good deeds. And through my good karmas, I would love to convert this earth into heaven. That's what I believe. I'm sure you will also believe in the same. I entered and I looked into these beautiful photographs. I'm thoroughly impressed. I, I've always believed that uh, uh, photographs are the everlasting memories. And there's a very old proverb that uh, a photograph is equal to thousand words. Everybody knows this kind of a uh, statement quote. And I think photographs are the expression of your own thinking, mind and soul. Uh, I have given so much importance to still photography which probably you can never imagine because I am also the Chancellor of a university and uh, there are probably 70 courses which are running in AAFT University and out of which trust me 35 courses they carry the subject of still photography and I am so happy I have just gone through this uh, uh, brochure and I have found a large number of uh, 
for photographers, I don't know, amateur or professional, I still have to meet you. And, uh, and uh, uh, suddenly what came into my mind is that, oh my God, there must be a, a national level, another award for still photographers. And I think if you cooperate me, I would love to start this kind of award only for still photography and would love to invite all of you to Marwa Studios, to Noida Film City and, and, and in extension to my words, I would love to have this kind of an exhibition at Marwa Studios and Noida Film City which will be called part two of your own exhibition. So please let me know when you want to finish. So I will start from there for all of you and we'll have a wonderful audience for the, this, this kind of a, uh, business. Uh, with all these words, I once again uh, uh, congrat uh, congratulate you uh, from my, right from my heart uh, and I wish all the photographers right here all the best and keep on doing such a wonderful job. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Dear friends, I think I can call you like that. Dear organizers of this exhibition, esteemed uh, guest of the chief guest, guest of honor. Uh, so friends, uh, it's my here it's my pleasure and honor to be here today among you. Uh, you see, uh, I admire you. You see, at once to see such a bunch of talented people, you see talented people, such crowd, more than 90, you see talented people here. I admire you and at the same time, I feel little jealousy. Why the jealousy toward you? Because uh, I'm not a talented person. Uh, the level of uh, me making photos, Polaroid in the past, my iPhone now. But I'm a good viewer, you understand? Uh, I appreciate uh, the pictures, uh, not uh, thinking which lenses you are using, uh, how you put the light, under which angle you are making. I appreciate your masterpieces with my heart and soul. If I look at the picture and it reflects in my heart, well, for example, this portrait, I am looking in these eyes and I can create in my mind the history about this, this person. You understand my imagination going? So it means I like it because I see behind this picture history and this is the most important. What else I want um, uh, to tell you? Um, uh, we met, you are magicians. Yes. Why? Because you make the moment of life, of history, stop forever, you see, and be left in our, in history itself, and you, this is very, very important. So I congratulate all the participants, I congratulate the organizers, I know what it is to be organizer, I think, and uh, Miss Smith, she allows me uh, to unveil to you the secret of how we get to know each other. My dear friend, <laughs> Dr. Piman Nas, the witness of this uh, event, on February 17th, I was organizer of the photo exhibition. If you allow me, you will allow just to tell a few words. My organization organized international photo contest named by the name of photojournalist of our agency, Andrei Stenian, who was killed on duty, and to commemorate his name, we organized international photo contest for young journalists. By the way, what here, let me, uh, every year we have a lot of entries by Indians. For example, 2022, we have 3,000 entries from different countries of the world and um, from 54 countries of the world. Among them, 32 Indians with more than 100 words. This year, 2023, from India, 36 entries with 208 words. 
By the way, if you know, if you want um, to know the details, you can address Smita. I'm reading here the book about this, but unfortunately, there is the frame of ages since 18 till 20, uh, till 33. 18, 33. But organizing such international exhibition, we try uh, to appreciate the youngsters, you see, yeah. uh, to compare it with each other, why not? To see the diverse of food, their colleagues from another uh, country. And uh, this exhibition of the winners um, uh, uh, of this photo contest was here in the IFX gallery the third time, by the way. And uh, we got acquainted with uh, Schmidt here. So please spread the word. You were, Dr. Marco, you were speaking about national award. This is very good initiative. But please don't forget, Indians can receive international award participating in this uh, stadium contest. Friends, one more time, uh, I admire you. Uh, it's my honor and pleasure to be here. And I am just in anticipation just to look one by one, you see, all these uh, um, photo uh, works. I wish you all, all the best to all of you, to organizers. They, they make it very hard, but in the same time, it's a very uh, wonderful job what they are making. And I thank my colleagues sitting here. So my best wishes to all of you. Thank you if I take your time for such a long
they are in composition that the Latin say and others, you know the technique is day by day with technology. If I go back to my uh, my childhood, my family has got a Kodak. Kodak, what is that? Is that, is that, is that uh, with, with yes, uh, photography and the family photographer used to come to take the group photograph. And there was something really great that still kept some of those photographs, like my dad's. That time was she was the subject part with the British period. And there's a fantastic composition was she was the only standing position of the among the British and other officials. She wears the shirt and dhoti. <laughs> shirt and shirt and dhoti with uh, you know like the pant and suit. And so we used to love and the knee or he was uh, like this and still I have kept there are lots of old photographs still I've been trying to save them. So photography is something really great to remember, to you know to, to see your past and even other times. So uh, now it is photography has given me place. It is not just a photography, it is a similarly it has got a creative values and it is almost like a painting and you can say the black and white paintings. Now the digital photography has come. So uh, thanks and congratulate all the photographers for uh, for you know the presenting this outstanding photography and I bless them all. Thank you very much and I congratulate Smita for encouraging and in, you know the conducting such beautiful revolution on behalf of the IMAX. I also feel happy that the beautiful exhibition. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Well, what a pleasure to be here this evening uh, for such a beautiful, well-designed uh, exhibition of photographs by some very professional and some amateur artist. It's a judicial mix of two, uh, but trust me, every picture is like a gold mine. Every picture is talking about your story. I have taken full time in understanding the meanings behind it, the purpose behind clicking that picture, the right mood of the photographer, what it would have been while clicking the picture, because everything matters. So it's the composition, the, the object, the location, uh, and, and the, the purpose is fantastic. I think uh, probably one of the best photography exhibition which I have seen uh, in recent times. So I must congratulate each and every uh, photographer for uh, submitting their uh, pictures to this exhibition. Uh, my heartiest congratulations to Smita uh, who has uh, uh, curated this whole exhibition. I think it's fantastic. held of me. Yeah. Uh, I'm very delighted to be the part of this photo exhibition. Uh, you see here, we can see every photo, we can tell it masterpiece. I have never seen so many talented photographers who are here today. And uh, mm, these uh, photos are showing us all aspects of Indian life, if I can tell you. This is portraits, we see, uh, this is just uh, street photos, uh, and the, the talent is shown in each photo because you see uh, the photographers make the life just stopped for a moment with their magic. You see, photographers like magicians, they make the life stop for a moment and uh, be left in history forever, in centuries. And it's up to you what you are going to see. But when I'm looking at portraits, I try to think uh, about who is this person, uh, how he is living, was his life easy, was his life uh, hard, and the eyes uh, of these persons um, uh, in these uh, photos giving you the history of these uh, persons. Sorry, the lack of English, and I can't um, uh, help my emotions, but really I'm very impressed, and uh, uh, my congratulations to the organizers, and my congratulations to all the participants. And it's very good that such exhibitions um, uh, becoming more often and often in Delhi, because this is very important just to show the works of uh, um, photographers uh, uh, to those to, for whom they are making these photos and giving us the opportunity uh, to see this masterpiece. Uh, these are really masterpieces uh, which uh, today are exhibited here.